Another fire outbreak has uh, occupied the, sorry, has occurred on the campus of Accra Academy. Tuesday's incident comes a few days after a similar incident on the campus. The fire at Alema Hall is said to be uh, to have started around 8.30 this evening. Students were evacuated from the hall following the fire. The Ghana National Fire Service sent some fire tenders to battle the flames. After the last fire on January 15, school authorities appealed for support to rehabilitate the dormitory which was gutted by the then fire. Our reporter Joseph Armstrong has been at the scene and has joined us um, has joined us on the phone to give us an update of what exactly the situation is like uh, on the campus of Accra Academy. And Joseph has joined us. Hello, Joseph. Good evening. Thank you for joining us. Uh, where exactly is this fire this time around? Yeah, good evening, Martin. Uh, exactly where it uh, happened some uh, a week ago, the same dormitory, that is a, uh, a, a, a lima or something, and uh, the same place where that fire took place is exactly that it has happened again today. Unfortunately, we've not had the opportunity to go inside. The security men have decided to prevent any media entry, including parents who head of the information and have troops here. We are all stuck or we are all stranded, stranded here at the entrance of the Accra Academy uh, gate. And they will not let anybody enter. But we have some few people who are in there and they... Once in a while, they come outside to give us information as to what's happening. Currently, we are told that the fire has been brought under control. Okay. But for the meantime, the students whose dormitory has been uh, bent down uh, uh, this place now, this evening they have to go and then sleep with the other colleagues in the other dormitories that uh, was not affected by the fire. So currently, what the parents here are demanding also is that they want access into the school compound to get their children out of the place because what they are saying now is that they don't know how safe their uh, kids are, how safe they are in mm. there. So the school authorities should just give them the uh, opportunity to go in there to see whether or not their children are in safe hands or not. Right. But have you been able to uh, at least speak to some of the, uh, um, the national service personnel there or maybe school authorities to find out whether they are able to ascertain what the cause of the fire is? Yes, uh, earlier I spoke with uh, one man who claims he's a fire service uh, personnel. He's not in uniform, he's in Moxie, so I, uh, he says that he's a fire service personnel. We asked him what could cause, what led to this fire out the different around, and he told us that it's, a, uh, it's an electrical fault that led to that. And we also told that it started around 7.30 when the students uh, were spread. So none of the students were in the dormitory when the incident uh, happened. So okay. all of them are safe. Just okay. that for those who have their belongings and their trunks and what have you got bent. Okay. That's what Thank I, you. I can say now, Martin. Thank you very much, uh, Joseph Armstrong, uh, reporting live from the campus of Accra Academy.